Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Robinson Maroon Basketball. I'm Jim Kincaid, along with Dwayne Shaw. Ron Wheeler's behind the camera, and we're a part of worldwide sound and video production, and we're coming to you tonight, to, coming to you tonight through the courtesy of Triax Cable Vision. Tonight's game brought to you by First Robinson Savings Bank, Silk and Satin, Cellular One and Robinson, Rural King Supply, Graves Auto Group, Crawford Memorial Hospital, American Legion, Big Buck Building Center, Hershey Chocolate and Robinson, Marathon Tire, Kemper CPA Group, Big Five Body Works, BFW Post 4549 Robinson, and Worldwide Sound and Video Productions. Well, we'll start our coverage of this year's season over here at Teotopolis, where a really good game ought to ensue here tonight. Last year, it's been um, almost a year, a year tomorrow to be exact, when Robinson and T-Town met in Robinson. Robinson probably played uh, one of their better games of the season that night and wound up with an 85-79 victory. Uh, looked for a while, I hate to say it, but it looked for a while that, like that might be their only victory for, for a short time, but they, they, uh, they came back. They hit in a, a pretty good slump after right. that. But as always, when you travel over here to T-Town, well, the way the custom has been the last couple of years is they've been winning on the home floor. And as you come over here to Teotopolis, uh, this is a, um, a tough gym to play in. The crowd is always loud. And T-Town plays with a lot of pressure, a lot of hustle, and I'm sure we're going to see that tonight. Maroons may be catching a big break. Uh, Teotopolis' big center, Josh Esker, the 6'7", or 6'8", senior, is out of on suspension for uh, some disciplinary action. We're not sure just what, but that's uh, that's a big player to get off the floor as far as Robinson's concerned. And the backup man, uh, not necessarily the backup man to him, but another 6'6 sophomore, um, Andrew Gobzinski, is also out with a leg injury. So they've lost a lot of height in those two players, and that, as you said, may give Robinson a good break here tonight. Tonight's ball game is brought to you in part by Cellular One. They're right across from Walmart. And uh, we'll come back to that as we get the colors presented by a color guard here tonight. This is the Effingham Marine Corps presenting the colors here at Teotopolis this evening. National Anthem being sung by a trio, students here at Teotopolis High School, and a good job on the National Anthem. Well, as the players warm up, we'll go back and talk about Cellular One, located right across the street from Walmart. They invite everyone to help Crawford County boys and girls have a merrier Christmas with books. Each $5 book or cash donation is worth 25 bonus minutes at Cellular One. So get in the holiday spirit and drop your books off or give a donation. Stop by at Cellular One right across from Walmart or see them at the new Cellular One booth inside Walmart. For a limited time, you can get free phone and free activation and free weekend and evening local calls for three months with a two-year service agreement on a qualifying plan at Cellular One. See them right across the street from Walmart in Robinson.
Well, Robinson opened the season up in fine style at home with a big win against Marshall. And uh, I think that was a had to be a confidence builder in the way they started out the season. Marshall, uh, always a tough ball club with returning Letterman in the name of Murphy, Mackey, and, and Huffington. And good size and a tough ball club. They came into Robinson. Uh, it was a good ball game all the way through that evening. One of the high points, and I saw it, Dwayne, and I'll fill you in a little bit, was the hustle and the defense that Robinson played the good. whole evening. It was a, a, full, uh, a full ball game of uh, hustle on the part of Robinson. I thought they played very well. Had some points in the ball game where Marshall kind of took control for a little bit. Robinson had come back. Then it would swing the other way a little bit. Wound up, uh, what, a three-point ball game? A three-point ball game. Uh, Robinson out on top. It basically was anybody's ball game through the most part. One of the things uh, we saw that uh, Robinson has needed for uh, a long time is the good guard play. Michael Correll, Andrew Bryant uh, did a, an outstanding job of guard that night in handling the ball and the outside shooting. So uh, they had a good win. Wes Parker probably played as good a defensive game as he's played in his career the second half of that ball game. Both teams then come in tonight 1-0. and uh, Tia Town with an opening win against Neoga, a much easier ball game, 71-49. So we're looking for a ball game here tonight. Going well, to introduce the the uh, Robinson Maroons here, the visitors, and I'll get started before it gets too noisy. Uh, the guards will be number 12, Andrew Bryant, a uh, 5'10 senior, and uh, Michael Correll, number 31, a 5'11 senior, two guard spots. Forwards, Chris Hartrick wearing double lot this year, a 6'0 senior, and uh, Dustin Hardman wearing number 4, 6'3 junior, and of course, Wesley Parker, number 15, a 6'7 senior in the middle. Four seniors and one junior. Opening on 6'7", 6'3", 6'5", 5'11", and 5'10". As I said, 1-0. and Coached by Mr. Tad Everett. At center, a 6'7", senior, Wesley Parker. In talking about the Marshall game and mentioning Wes's job on defense in the second half, he got in foul trouble early in the ball game, set out over half of the first half. So... Uh, Therefore, he didn't get to play very much. When he came back to the floor in the second half, he did a real good job on Huffington. Marshall went on down and played in the Capitol Classic at uh, Lawrenceville Red Hill and uh, didn't do too well, I think, did they? Took it on the chin three times. That's right. Finished two and three. Kind of a surprise. I think they were expecting to do much better than that. Well, this ought to be a good one tonight. We may have to get cranked up. Um, Sound-wise, you're talking about? Yeah, I'm, we've got a radio in our ear on one side. The PA system's turned up. So here comes St. Eric. I keep saying St. Anthony. This is Teotopolis. One of the guards, John Niebruggy, wearing number 11, a 6'1", senior. The other guard, Mitch Custer, a sophomore, wearing number 21, at 5'11". The forwards, Derek Gaddis, a 6-foot junior, wearing number 13. And Jason Herboff, a junior at 5'10", wearing number 35. Steve Meddy at 6'4", wearing number 55. The 6'4", junior, will be the center tonight in the absence of uh, Esker. I suspect Meddy probably uh, would have been a starter anyway. I'm not sure who, who really has taken Esker's place here in the starting lineup. But their coach is always with Mr. Ken Crawford. He's had quite a career here at Teotopolis. This gym has got a lot of career in it from yeah. both the men and girls' standpoint. The no, girls have been involved in uh, the state championship. I think it was 86, I think, when both the boys and girls won the Class A championship. And you look around and you see the flags and the banners in here uh, of the success that uh, this high school has had in basketball. We may want to crank up our headsets already the way things are going here. Officials tonight, Jimmy Wagner from Newton and Billy Book from Fairfield. Jason Herboth will be in the center circle with Wes Parker as we get ready to tip things off here. Whoops. And uh, elbow in the way. A little over anxious. That's all right. Wagner can do it again. Now we're going. 
controlled by the Maroons, Michael Corral. He takes it across the 10-second line. Works out run. T-Town will play a man-to-man -man defense, I'm sure, all evening. There's Wes Parker, missed the first shot. Rebound pulled down by T-Town. Custer handles it out front, guarded by Bryant. Maroons in a man-to-man -man as they open up here. Neberge goes down inside. Shot's partially blocked. Rebound shot is put back up and good. Who got it? Metty. 2-0, T-Town jumps out in front. Andrew Bryant handles the ball on the wing for the Maroons. Looks inside, goes to the baseline, comes back out. Cross court, Corral, double team, takes the baseline. Nice pass inside to Wes Parker, and he sinks it. Good assist from Corral, and Wes puts it through. Tied at two, just underway here in Teotopolis. Three-point try. No good. Parker with a rebound, long pass down court, throws it away. Hartrick took two rows out of the people in the crowd and landed on two or three others. Everybody's okay, including Chris. <laughs> they wanted to sit down there on the sidelines. I was going to say, <laughs> let, let that be a warning to you folks. You want to sit on the edge of the floor, watch out, because Chris Hartrick is going to find you sometime during the game. Well, he, Andrew, and Correll are three guys that will spend a lot of time on the floor because they go all out. There's a jumper from 15, in and out, no good. Rebound picked up and put back by T-10. That was John Nieberge. 4-2, wooden shoes. Loose ball picked up. T-Town will bring it back. Mitch Custer will handle the ball out front, and Andrew will pick him up. 15-footer. No good. Rebound, Wes Parker. Andrew, nice dish. Hartrick tries to go across to uh, Hardeman, bounces it off the bottom of the goal, and that'll be out of bounds to the wooden shoes. First quarter action here in T-Town. We've played about two and a half minutes. It's 4-2 in favor of the Teotopolis Wooden Shoes. Third turnover already for, Mar for the Maroons. They need to tighten it up a bit. Nice Inside. Bait. Shot missed. Loose ball. Put back up by T-Town. Missed, still loose. Mm -hmm. Back again mm -hmm. goes Metty. And uh, the foul is going to go against Teotopolis. Uh, check that. You said 31. We don't have a 31. Maybe do that was. Um, we've got a 13 out there. No, he's going to the line, so that foul was on Michael Correll. Yeah, it was. His first and the first team foul. The point I saw, I guess, was to the person shooting, and that's going to be Metty at the line. He's got one. Missed the second one. Michael picks off the rebound. 5-2 the score, T-Town, as the Maroons bring it down in a hurry. Parker in the corner. Tries the baseline. Back out. Good pass to Bryant. Andrew takes it inside off the glass. Missed the shot. Loose ball. Anybody's ball. T-Town comes out with it. They try to move it down in a hurry as Custer takes it down the floor. Drives against Bryant, puts up the short jumper, and no good. Hartrick with the rebound. Got a foul. Now we'll go the other way. First Robinson Savings Bank's happy to be a sponsor of tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you, and they've been serving Crawford County since 1883, 115 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. Andrew, careful. Parker comes outside, goes down into the corner to Hardeman. Dustin puts it up, no good. Rebound picked out of there by T-Town. Knocked loose for a second by Hardeman. Neberge though with it.
Custer, the point guard, goes down inside uh, Herboth. Back out front, Michael Correll guards him. Shots no good, right in the hands of Andrew Brown. Tries to go into Parker. Parker is fouled from behind by Metty. His first, second team foul. Still 5-2. Hartrick takes it, gives it back to Bryant. Correll in the corner, moves back out to the wing, tries to go into Parker again. Many has been uh, successful in keeping the ball away from West. Custer handles it out on the wing. In the corner. Custer missed a shot. Hardiman with a rebound. Maroons will take it down. Both teams cold. Michael will go for three. Got it. Correll hits the three when you need it. We're tied at five. Gaddis out front with the ball. Now gives over to Custer. Herboth, the shot, no good. Rebound, Dustin Hardiman. Maroons control. They bring it down. We've got a little over three minutes to play in the quarter. Andrew, double team. Kicked away, picked up by Hardiman. Dustin drives, nice move, got it. Maroons take the lead for the first time, 7-5, with 3.05 on the clock here in the first quarter. Nieberg in the corner, goes inside. Gaddis with the ball, and he's fouled. That'll be Hartrick's first. And the second team foul for the Maroons. Graves Auto Group's your local dealer for Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, Chrysler, Plymouth, and Dodge with a red carpet at least. Graves Auto Group, proud to support the Robinson Maroons. Nieberger back in the corner to uh, Custer. And he's got it. Seven all. Bryant works to the baseline, has to come back out. They're going to trap him in the corner, and he loses the ball out of bounds. The turnover, that's is at four, gives it five, gives it back to T-Town. Seven all. 2.29 to go here in the first quarter. T-Town without a turnover so far. Jason Young comes in the ball game. Andrew will take a breather. Jason will pick up the point guard. We've also got uh, Brandon Hardiman in, too. Made two changes, missed that. Brandon will be down underneath at forward as Hartrick takes a breather. From outside, there's a two-pointer by Mitch Custer. And now 9-7 as T-Town back in front. Nice move. Oh, good pass by Michael under to Jason Young. Hardiman. Got Michael cutting for the basket. Michael knew uh, he had an open pass. Had to make a good one, though, to Jason Young underneath. Did it. Jason got fouled as he went up for the shot, so he'll be at the line to shoot two. Second foul on Jason Herboth. Well, due to the biggest change in the IRS code since 1986, this year it's more important than ever to, that you see your Kemper CPA group for your year-end tax planning and strategies. To be sure you're covered for the new tax law changes, see the Kemper CPA group for all your tax preparation. And it's 9-8, one-point lead for Teotopolis, as Jason was good on his second free throw. Nieberge sets the offense out front. Underneath to Metty, goes against Parker. Shots partially blocked. That one comes up way short. Brandon Hardiman picks it out of there. Correll and the Maroons go down in a hurry. To Dustin, brings it outside. Good spin move, loses the ball. On a breakaway. Gets the shot and the foul. 
Mitch Custer takes it all the way down. He was double teamed, got the shot up, got fouled, and he's at the line. He'll have a chance to make one more for a three-point play. It's 11 to 8 the way it stands, and we'll see what Mitch does at the line. For the best deal in tires, stop in at Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main in Robinson. Your complete car care center. Chris Hartrick back in the game for the Maroons. And Andrew Bryant. Custer makes it three. It's 12-8, a four-point lead for T-Town. Jason Young fouled outside, or that's Andrew Bryant as he drove for the basket. That's going against Niebrugge, his first, fourth team. Willenborg comes into the ball game for Teotopoulos as Meddy takes a breather. Michael Carell handles it out front. Backs out, gives it to Andrew for 15. Got it. 12-10. Maroons pull within two. Gaddis makes a good pass inside. A blocking foul is going to be called against Michael Corral. He thought it ought to be charging. Nieberg, he'll go to the line. Did the ball go in? No. So he'll shoot two. Second foul on Corral. The restaurant at the American Legion in Robinson is open to the public Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner and Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion, E.M. Colder Post. 69 in Robinson. Here comes Dustin Harden, Hardeman back in the ball game for the Maroons. Nieberg, he missed his first one. Got that one. 13-10. The shoes by three. Andrew Bryant down in the corner to Jason Young. Back out to Andrew. Andrew. Brandon Hardeman puts it up, won't go. Loose ball, Brandon back in for his own rebound. Puts it up and in, good hustle by the freshman. 13-12, Maroons pull within one. Custer takes it inside. Doug Prost, number 25, was in the ball game. He's the guy that took the shot, missed it. Rebound goes out of bounds, and it's given to the Maroons. 23 seconds to go in the first quarter, and it's 13-12. Teotopoulos. Bryant with it out front. Works the lane, a 15-footer in and out. Tipped back by Hardeman, won't go. Time's out on the clock. We've played a quarter. Teotopoulos leads at 13-12. Let the Temco Custom Guard protect your home with Temco Custom Guard replacement windows. Available from Big Buck Lumber Company in Robinson. They're virtually maintenance-free. Temco Custom Guard energy-saving windows from Big Buck never need painting and they never surrender to the forces of nature snow wind dirt or rain the homeowner's best defense well it's temco custom guard windows the temco custom guard replacement windows now at big buck lumber company and robinson you'll be prepared for fall cleanup with steel chainsaws and rural king supply see rural king supply for all your fall cleanup needs Route 33 east of robinson and the Silk and Satin Bridal Shops open six days a week, 11 to 5 during the week, and 10 to 2 on, Sunday, or on Saturdays. 
They're located on North Jackson Street. Um, they have after-hour appointments that are available. That's the Silk and Satin Bridal Shop in Robinson. Something to watch, that last foul that was called against Teotopolis actually went up as a team foul against Robinson. So they're showing four and four for team fouls when it should be five and three. Let's see if, uh, see if they correct it when the it coach goes, goes over and checks. I bet he's talking about that right now. There's a shot in and off the glass. That was Esther, I think, Brian um, Esther, 15, right? Yes. No, 13. 13, 13, and that's uh, Der Derek Gattis. 15-12, a three-point lead for T-Town as we open the second quarter. Michael Corral gives to Andrew. Bryant works against Neberge, passes it back out to Corral. He drops one inside to Wes Parker. Wes gets loose, puts it up off the glass. Nice pass, good move by Parker. It's 15-14 now. We're back to a one-point ball game. Underneath, nice pass to the open man. John Nieberge got the bucket, 17-14. Correll in the corner. They'd like to go into Parker and get him loose. He's being defensed well. That time the pass is taken away by Herboth. Takes it up, shoots no good, bodies on the floor. Put back by Metty. We're back to 1914, a five-point lead by the Teotopolis. Wooden shoes as the Maroons take a timeout. Well, happy birthday from Crawford Memorial Hospital. They'd like to celebrate your birthday, so come in for a mammogram during your birthday month, and your name will be automatically registered for our monthly drawing. Crawford Memorial Hospital is uh, certified by the FDA and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the American College of Radiology. For more information about mammograms or to set up an appointment, call 618-544-3131 at extension 2226. Are you going? <laughs> I thought I might. <laughs> March, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Jason Young with it in the corner. Bryant to Corral. Won't go. Rebound. Nieberge got a jump ball tied up by Bryant. Good hustle. Possession arrow gives it to the Maroons, and they'll take the ball back. 19-14. Gaddis back in, oh no, that's a uh, Schmidt. First time in a ball game for T-Town as uh, Nieberge takes a breather. Maroons have it in. Hardeman with it out front. Correll in the corner. He'll go for three. Come up a little short. Rebound picked off by T-Town. Herboth drives, scores. 21-14. That's a seven-point lead. That's the biggest lead of the night by Teotopolis. Maroons work inside to Andrew. Turn around, got it. Good pass caught Bryant breaking for the basket. And he scores. It's 21-15 now. Steal by Andrew Bryant. Won't fall. Rebound. Hardeman. Taken away, back by T-Town. The drive against Parker by Custer. And how did they call it? A foul. Well, the outside official made the call. Foul goes to Wes Parker, his first, fourth team foul. Well, I thought Wes had a good block, but there was some body contact in there, so I don't think they could argue either way on that one. Shots up and good by Mitch Custer. He'll have another. It's 22-16. 
Got them both. <clears throat> Brandon Hardeman won't go. Parker, good rebound, put back, missed. Picked up by Hardeman again. That won't go. There's three shots at it. Nobody could get it down. Rebound knocked around, controlled on the floor now. Anybody's ball still watching for it. Finally, a jump ball's called. T-Town will keep it on possession. Back in the ball game comes Neberge for Teotopoulos. Schmidt will take a seat. The Wooden Shoes will have it out of bounds under their own basket. Custer will throw it in, does to Meddy. He bounced it twice. Rebounds picked off, controlled by the Maroons. Parker with it, out on the wing. Gives back to Bryant, down in the corner. Brandon Hardeman open for three, won't go. Rebound picked off by Custer. Shoes come down with it in a hurry. Custer all the way with the jumper. 25-15 as the Shoes open up a 10-point lead with 4.20 to go here in the first half. Bryant loses the ball. T-Town back in a hurry. They've got a two-on-two, -two, fast break, and they throw it away. So as they turn it over, Maroons will get it back. 25-16. Is that six or a five? I can't tell on the clock. 16. 16. It's a nine-point lead by the Shoes. Been a few scrambles, but I think that was... Teotopoulos' first really turnover. Wes Parker to the baseline, got the shot, count oh, the bucket, count, count the bucket, he'll go to the line to shoot a free throw. We have to see who it went against. Uh, Gaddis, his first 16 foul. West scored the bucket. Free throw's good. Now we're back to 25-19, uh, a six-point spread now. Teotopoulos out in front. We've got 350 to go here in the first half. Nieberge drives the lane, puts it up. Rolls it over the front of the, of the rim, 27-19. Maroons throw it away. Turnovers plague them here early in the ball game. Number 12. They've got a game's worth here in about a quarter and a half. Herboth goes to the baseline, the turnaround, and he sinks it. We're back to a 10-point lead, 29-19, Teotopoulos. <clears throat> Dustin Hardeman works the ball, takes the shot, comes up with two. 29-21, long pass down court. They lose it out of bounds, give it back to the Maroons. Herboth just let that go right through his fingertips. A chance to climb back in this one here. Maroons have got the ball. Stolen by Teotopoulos. Carries the ball. Turnover gives it back to the Maroons. He just forgot to put it down when he changed hands. Out of bounds to the wooden shoes. Pretty good idea. Carell deked his man and flashed back door, and uh, the pass was there, but he couldn't quite handle it. Those are hard to handle. Bounce passes coming off the floor. They're spinning like a son of a gun. 
29-21. The shoes out in front. Gaddis handles the ball out front for Teotopoulos. That's Chris Hartrick out there on him. Maroons in that man-to-man. -man. Herboff fakes the first man, takes a shot, no good. Rebound put back up by Prumer, who got the shot. I was counting on you. I looked down to get Prumer's name, and I'm not sure who was underneath to pick up the rebound on that one. I don't know. It's a 10-point ball game now. Teotopoulos in front, 31-21. We've got a maroon going to the line for a one and bonus. That'll be Bryant up there. As the foul went against John Nieberge, his second. Well, I want to give that basket to Met or to Herboff. <clears throat> right or wrong? Good enough. The first Robinson Savings Bank is happy to sponsor tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine. They've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 115 years of meeting the financial needs of the area. Make it 31-23 now as Bryant sinks his free throws. A little over two minutes to go in the half. <clears throat> Herboth. Lost the ball. Andrew takes it in. Got it. 31-25. Six-point game now from 10 to 6 real quick. 148 to go in the half. Maroons. Oh, up that way. Mitch Custer drilled that one. 33-25. King on Bryant. Bryant puts the shot up, won't go. Loose ball, picked off by T-Town. They've got a breakaway. Gaddis, count it, and he's fouled. Doug Gaddis. A 10-point lead, chance to make it 11. You'll be prepared for fall cleanup with Echo string trimmers and Echo leaf blowers and steel chainsaws from Real King Supply. See Real King Supply for all your fall cleanup needs. Route 33 east of Robinson. Traveling call, turnover, give it back to the Teotopolis wooden shoes. Missed free throw will keep the ball game a 10-point game, 35-25. What do we have? A question. We'll call that an official timeout. Graves Auto Group's your local dealer for Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, Chrysler, Plymouth, and Dodge with a red carpet lease. Graves Auto Group is proud to support the Robinson Maroons. T-Town with the ball under their own basket. Back out to King. Guarded by Correll. Custer. No good. Custer will get his own rebound. Herbaugh, we're under a minute. King drives the lane, puts up the shot, scores it. Chris Hartrick goes to the baseline, comes back out to Hardeman. Dustin will put up the long two, no good. Rebound goes to anybody yet. On the floor, Wes Parker won't fall. West gets it again, dumps it back to Bryant, and Andrew will take it back outside. A lot of push and shoving going on underneath, and the ball is taken away by Teotopoulos. Two on one. Mitch Custer, good move to the lane. 39-25 as T-Town opens up a 14-point lead with 10 seconds to go in half. Parker. Count the basket. There's three seconds on the clock, and he'll go to the line. That'll help a little bit. Yeah. 
Parker with a chance at his second three-point play of the evening. Brandon Hardiman comes in as Michael Correll will take a breather. We've got three seconds left in the half. Jason Young in the ball game. Hartrick and Dustin Hardiman. West sinks it. 39-28. Long pass down. Teotopoulos takes it in all the way. Scores it out. And uh, they never did turn the clock on, I think, what the problem was. Yeah. It's got to count. Let's see. Nice try. Who got the bucket? Was that uh, Prima? Herboff. 35. No basket. They waved it off. Well, I don't see really how they can do that. I don't either. Well, you can argue both ways on that. However, what you can't argue with is the best deal in tires. So stop in and Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price. Marathon Tire Incorporated, that's at 400 East Main in Robinson. They're your complete car care center. You know, I think I turned these over. I don't know how I got so many of these. <laughs> One thing I mentioned earlier, due to the biggest change in the IRS code since 1986, this year it is more important than ever that you see Kemper CPA Group for your year-end tax planning strategies to be sure you are covered for the new tax law changes. See the Kemper CPA Group for all your tax preparation. Always like to mention one of our sponsors, the American Legion, and their restaurant at the American Legion in Robinson, open to the public on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner and Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion, EM Kohler Post 69 in Robinson. The Big Five Body Works is a complete collision repair facility. The Big Five Body Works is now at a new location with new high-tech equipment for insurance work or custom work. It's Big Five Body Works, located a block south of the Gordon Junction. They're right across from Jim Bradbury Trailer Sales. Well, tonight's ball game is brought to you in part by the Hershey Chocolate and the Robinson Plant, where they manufacture Heath, Milk Duds, Sixlets, Paydays, and Whopper Candies. That's the Hershey Chocolate in Robinson. Coming up, Saturday, December 13th, the VFW Post 45-49 in Robinson is holding a dance that is open to the public from 8.30 to 11.30. Music will be by the Wildwoods. That's Saturday, December 13th, coming up at the VFW in Robinson. You know, the VFW will do anything for their country, so don't forget the dance on December 13th, the VFW in Robinson. Silk and Satin Bridal Shop, open six days a week, 11 to 5 during the week and 10 to 2 on Saturdays, located in North Jackson. After our appointments are available, that's the Silk and Satin Bridal Shop in Robinson. You want to do totals now? I can. Let's do that. From Robinson, uh, totals for Robinson, who trailing 39 to 28 at this point. The leading scorer is Wes Parker with 10. Dustin Hardeman with four. Andrew Bryant with eight. Two points for Brandon Hardeman off the bench. Jason Young with one point off the bench. And a three-point basket by Michael Correll. One for three, or one three-point basket and five for six in the free throw line. That three-pointer coming from Michael Correll. Rebounding, I uh, have Robinson with 14 and uh, Teotopoulos with 18. They closed that margin. Uh, Teotopoulos had a pretty good margin most of the way, but Robinson's closed that a bit. But the big one is turnovers. Uh, my gosh, I've got Robinson with 16 and Teotopoulos with only five. Their leading score was uh, Mitch Custer with 15 points. John Nieberger with seven. Derek Gaddis with four. Two points for Johnny King. Seven for Jason Herboff and four for Steve Meddy. No three-point baskets for T-Town and five from eight from the line. 39-28 halftime. One of the things that uh, T-Town is able to do that the Maroons, I'm sure, hope they wouldn't be able to do, and that's penetrate inside. That's where the bulk yeah. of their points are coming from is, is uh, inside and being able to go to the basket. And everybody's crashing the boards when that happens, so they're right there for the rebound as well. 
Well, second half action will be coming up here in just a second. Stay with us. We hope you're enjoying tonight's ball game, our first ball game of the season here on Triax Cable Vision. Thirty nine twenty eight halftime scores the teams warm up here to begin the second half. Let the Tempco Custom Guard protect your home with Tempco Custom Guard replacement windows available from Big Buck Lumber Company in Robinson. Virtually maintenance free Tempco Custom Guard energy saving windows from Big Buck never need painting and they never surrender to the forces of nature snow wind dirt or rain. The homeowner's best defense it's Tempco Custom Guard windows. Temco Custom Guard replacement windows now at Big Buck Lumber Company in Robinson. Well, it'll be interesting to see any changes that the uh, Coach Everett does to the Robinson lineup. Uh, we talked here at halftime a little bit about um, some possibilities. We'll not mention them. We'll no, wait we and see won't. if we're right or wrong. It'll be easier that way. We That's can cover why this job is easier. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to we mention can. the foul situation uh, when I was given the halftime. The, uh, Robinson with 16 fouls and uh, Teotopoulos with eight. Teotopoulos, uh, John Niebrugge and Jason Herboff with two each and Derek Gaddis, Mitch Primer and uh, see Paul Willenberg and Steve Meddy with one apiece. For Robinson, Michael Correll with two and one each on Brandon, Hard Brandon Hardeman, Wes Parker, Andrew Bryant and Chris Hartry. Well, the Maroons will have possession as we start the second half. They'll start it with Brian and Correll at the guards. Dustin Hardeman right there with the shot, won't go. Wesley Parker underneath along with Chris Hartry. Teotopoulos with the ball right now will keep the same lineup as the, the same opening lineup as they had as we entered the ball game. They go inside, ball fought for. It's loose ball on the floor, picked out of there by Bryant. Wes Parker's got it. Loops a pass up to Hartry. Holy Hartrick cow. is uh, tackled and driven to the floor by Herboff. Chris used to being on the floor, took a pretty good shot that time. The foul will go against T-Town, and the ball will go out of bounds to the Maroons. They're going to pull Chris out a little bit and let him get his win back. See, so he hit the floor pretty hard. Brandon Hardeman, the freshman, will be in in his place, and Brandon will... Or, yeah, Brandon will throw it in, the out-of-bounds. He'll bring think, it in. I don't think hitting the floor hurt him. I think it was the elbow and the nose that really did the trick. Three-point try is no good. T-Town on the breakaway. They've got it. Mitch Custer has the wooden shoes score first. It's 41-28. Nice pass underneath the Hardeman. Brandon backs off, missed the shot. Herboth on the baseline, stolen by Corral, kicked back in. Maroons. Possession will stay with um, the wooden shoes on that jump ball call. Good hustle by Corral. T-Town will have it under their own basket. Little maintenance work by the officials on the floor. The ball tipped on the inbounds pass, and Parker controls it. Maroons have got it. Bryant in the corner to Hardeman. He tries to go inside to Dustin, and Dustin is fouled. It's going to be Gaddis, I think, his second. First team foul. Maroons will keep it. They've got it under their own basket now as they set up the inbounds play. The pass will come inside to Wes Parker. He puts up an 18-footer, scores it. Wes from outside, big bucket. They needed to get things rolling here this half, 41-30. Shoes by 11 here. Custer has it out on the wing. Gives off. Herboth underneath has one shot blocked. The other one goes back and he's fouled. The foul 
will go against Michael Corral. Parker managed to block the first attempt that Meddy put up. The second time he was fouled by Corral. Count the bucket. We're at 43-30 and a chance to spread that lead to 14 here if Steve Meddy puts it through. And he does. There's a third foul on Corral. <clears throat> Bryant against Neberge. Andrew, nice pass to Hardeman, the turnaround scores. Dustin Hardeman, a good assist from Andrew Bryant. Herboth to Gaddis to Custer. He looks inside, but brings it back out to Neberge. There's a pass inside. Oh. <clears throat> Hartrick flopped and got the foul call. Drew the offensive foul on uh, Gattis. 13, yes. Yeah. Gattis, his third. 12-point ball game now. Maroon's a chance to cut into that lead now with the Bryant as, as he brings it across the line. In the lane, the shot by Andrew Bryant. It's good. 44-34, 10-point game. Third quarter action here in Teotopolis. The Shoes lead it by 10. There's Meddy in the lane, blocked by Parker. Loose ball, Bryant kicks it around, picks it up. Outlet pass, three on nobody. Hartrick got it and he's fouled. Count the bucket. Herboth says, what did I do? Well, what he did was picked up personal foul number three. There were three Maroons down court as Hartrick wound up with it. Herboth coming down in a hurry. That's one of those that uh, you just want to let go. There was no chance he could make a play on it. Chris puts it through, three-point play, 44-37. A seven-point ball game now. Down 14, the Maroons have come back half of that to seven. Neberge goes against Bryant, kicks it back out front. Custer down to the baseline. Back out, Herboth drives, won't go, rebound. Stays with the wooden shoes, and Bryant gets his hands on it, ties the ball up, possession will give it to the Maroons. First Robinson Savings Bank, happy to be a sponsor of tonight's <laughs> ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you. They've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 115 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. Bryant in the corner to Michael Correll. Back out front to Bryant. Andrew works against Neberge. To Hartrick. Cross court, West Parker. It's tipped away by Herboth. Break away. Herboth all by himself. We've got a blocking foul against and that's what a perfect example there of moving screen or whatever you yep. want. He just was running interference. That's Neberger. Coach Ken Crawford's off the floor. That's the second time they've got away with it, at least. They did that a while ago on that breakaway. Well, it cost him a foul, but it also cost two points because that kid going to make the layup with uncontested. So, Maroons again. Cross court to Hardeman. Dustin takes it to the line. Looks for help. Loops it over to Michael Correll. He'll go for three. Comes up short. Meddy with a rebound. Shoes down in a hurry. There's Herboth. Drives. Won't go. Maroon's back. Things are getting fast and furious here. Brand. That's Dustin Hardeman with the ball. Knocked loose. Parker from the corner. He's fouled. Goes in and out. Correll on the floor. Puts it up. Probably count it. Yes. Well, Anything can happen. Michael Corral took the rebound for Parker shot from the corner. Put it back up and in. He was fouled. It's a timeout call by the Wooden Shoes. When we come back after the timeout, it'll be Corral at the line to try to complete a three-point play and pull the Maroons within four. Well, the Graves Auto Group's your local dealer for Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, Chrysler, and Plymouth and Dodge with a red carpet lease. Graves Auto Group is proud to support the Robinson Maroons. 
due to the biggest change in the IRS code since 1986, this year is more important than ever that you see Camper CPA Group for your year-end tax planning strategies. Be sure you are covered for the new tax law changes. See Camper CPA Group for all your tax preparation. And I don't know if I ever had a tax planning strategy. <laughs> I was going to say, that's almost <laughs> like reading the tax code. <laughs> for the best deal in tires, stop in at Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. Corral will be at the line. It's 44-39. There's 3.45 to go in the third quarter. Michael, one shot. Got it. Four-point ball game now, 44-40. Neberge goes inside to Meddy. Meddy kicks it back out. Herboth, 10-footer, picked off by Wes Parker. Long pass, Chris Hartrick. Out of bounds. He had to think about it. They gave it to the Maroons. Hartrick got down in time to knock it off one of the wooden shoe players. Correll, Hardeman. Off his foot. Turnover, gives it to the shoes. Neberge with it. Herboth with the ball. To it's Custer. He's got a bunch of points, huh? Seems like Custer's had the ball a lot. Yeah, 19. Hartrick out front, gives it back to Corral. Wes Parker looks for three. Got the three. 46-43, a three-point ball game. 2.45 to go in the third quarter. Neberge, little 10-footer, he drills it. Put that lead back to five here, 48-43 real quick. Hardeman with it. Puts up a long short, come, a long shot, way short. Rebound picked off the floor there by Custer. He's got it. A ten footer. Got that one. All of a sudden, from three points, we're back to a seven point deficit. 50 43. Shoes tipped away. Good defense by the shoes. Robinson will maintain possession. T Town shot pretty well in the last couple of minutes, but they haven't really had a hand in their face either. Brandon Hardeman comes in for Brother Dustin. Good defense here by the Shoes. Maroons get it in to Parker. Wes gets it taken away, in and out of the hands of Brandon. Gaddis with a shot and the drive. He's fouled. It's going against Bryant, his second. Only the second team foul for Robinson. That's one thing in their favor. This portion of tonight's ball game is brought to you by Hershey Chocolate and the Robinson plant where they manufacture Heath, Milk Duds, Sixlets, Paydays, and Whopper candies. That's Hershey Chocolate in Robinson. Douglas Gaddis at the line. Missed the first one. They've not done really well at free throws tonight, Aaron. They were uh, five for eight in the first half. Okay. This is their uh, one for two now. One for oh, three. For two there. Out. Whoops, got his, got own, his rebound. own rebound. Missed that shot. Meddy puts it back. No, no good. Rebound Maroons. Double teamed out of bounds. Stepped out of bounds. And the shoes will get it. Herbot, guarded by Bryant. Nice pass inside to Meddy, but he traveled. <laughs> Dustin Hardeman comes back in the ball game. Chris Hartrick will take a breather. 
You'll be prepared for fall cleanup with echo string trimmers and echo leaf blowers and steel chainsaws from Real King Supply. See Real King Supply for all your fall cleanup needs on Route 33 east of Robinson. Well, they give the ball back to the Maroons. They say uh, the topless man hit the ball out of bounds. A lot of disagreement. I have no idea from where we're sitting. Hardiman. Parker tips it back, won't go. Loose ball, picked off by Andrew Bryant. Andrew, the short shot, won't go. We've got a foul underneath on the rebound, and probably against Parker, Parker, I think. 50-43, a seven-point ball game with 111 here to go in the third quarter. This sort of typical ball game at Teotopolis or between these two teams, no matter where it's at. Fast and furious, it's a tough ball game. Nieberger goes inside to Meddy. Turnaround, puts it up short, rebound Hardiman. Good defense by Parker on that. Bryant brings it down. Good pass. Jason Young in the ball game drives to the bucket and he's fouled by Gaddis. Jason will go to the line. Let's see where they call the foul on the floor. He'll give two. Jason will be at the line. That's four fouls on uh, Derek Gaddis for Tia Topless. End of the ball game now for Tia Topless. First Chris Hartrick back in for Brandon Hardiman. And uh, Doug Probst into the game for Gaddis for the shoes. Pearl's going to come in for Young if he makes these free throws. The Silk and Satin Bridal Shops open six days a week, 11 to 5 during the week, and 10 to 2 on Saturdays, located on North Jackson. After our appointments are available, that's the Silk and Satin Bridal Shop in Robinson. Jason got the second one, make it 50-43. And Michael Correll in. Jason will take a seat. Sophomore ball players done a good job coming in off the bench. Custer handles the ball out front, gives to Herbach. Custer won't go. Rebound. Herboth puts it back up, but he traveled. The turnover will give it back to the Maroons. Thirty seconds left. Third quarter. Corral with it, guarded by Custer. Back to Hartrick. In the corner to Andrew Bryant. 4-3, won't go. Off the rim. Hardiman puts it back. Got it. Dustin Hardiman on the rebound and the putback. Five-point ball game, 50-45. Less than 10. We're at six. No good. Time runs out. End of three quarters of play. It's 50-45. The Teotopolis wooden shoes lead it here in T-Town. The restaurant at the American Legion is open to the public on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner and Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion EM Kohler Post 69 in Robinson. This makes me hungry talking about it. Crawford Memorial Hospital has a birthday special. Come in for your mammogram during your birthday month and your name will be automatically registered for our monthly drawing. Crawford Memorial Hospital is certified by the FDA and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. 
and the American College of Radiology. For more information about mammograms or to set up an appointment, call 618-544-3131, extension 2226. Choose control as we open up the fourth quarter here. They lead it by five. Nieberge, two. Hartrick with the ball on the way. Trying to get the offense moving. A little standing around being done by the Maroons. And good defense by the Wooden Shoes. A timeout, a 20-second timeout has been called now to kind of break that. 52-46, a six-point lead for the Shoes. First, Robinson Savings Bank's happy to sponsor tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you. They've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 115 years of meeting the financial needs of the area. Well, that's one of the new rules this year, the introduction of the 22nd timeout in high school ball. They get two each half. Does not uh, change in any way the, the regular timeouts that they received before. Correll works out front against Custer. Andrew Bryant out of the corner. Two, two. points. 52-48, a four-point ball game. A lot of time left. We're just into the fourth quarter. Meddy, Parker guards him. Partial block. Picked off by Hartrick. Good defense by the Maroons on that exchange. Andrew Bryant back out to Hartrick. Correll. Andrew for three. In and out. Rebound picked off by the shoes down in a hurry. Mitch Custer took it to the basket and was fouled from behind. I think Corral's going to get the benefit of that. Yeah, Bryant, I think. Or uh, Brian, Andrew Bryant. It's his third. Fourth team foul. And that'll put Mitch Custer at the line to shoot a pair of them. He's three for three from the line so far tonight. <clears throat> Got one. Got them both. Make it 54 48, a six point spread now. Six and a half minutes to go in the ballgame. Tia Topless has played a tough man to man defense all evening long. Hardeman. Dishes off to West Parker, 12-footer. Got it. 54-50. 17 for Parker. It's been a quiet 17, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Herboth with the ball on the wing. Gives to Custer, 16-footer. Got it. If you let him kid. square up, oh, he's, yeah. he's pretty good shoot. 23-25 points for him. Foul by Nieberge on Andrew Bryant. Uh, let's see, that ought to put them at the line. No, that's the seventh. It will. They're in bonus. Andrew will go to the line to shoot a one in bonus. They need it now. Fourth foul on Newberg. Graves Auto Group's your local dealer for Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, Chrysler, Plymouth, and Dodge with a red carpet lease. Graves Auto Group is proud to support the Robinson Maroons. Should be a fun year of basketball coming up as we're going to be covering all the county teams at one time or another this year. We've got some LTC games lined up. I'm looking forward to this basketball season. I think all the teams in the area are, are improved over last year. So there ought to be some good basketball to watch. Andrew sinks them both, 56-52, four-point ball game again. Shoes out in front, 5.50 to go. Block pass. Control. Not yet control. Still anybody's ball. Shoes got it. Nieberge from 10 feet. Got it. 
six point game again. 58-52. Parker comes outside, drives against Meddy, puts up a three, a little short. Rebound, foul is going to go Harden against Harden. Harden. That's his first. 15 foul. Herboth with it in the corner. Nieberger's shot's no good. Parker's got the rebound. Bryant will take it down. Nieberger comes over to guard him. Andrew drives, has it knocked away. Foul's going to be called. It's going to be five for Nieberger. In the bonus now, Andrew will go to the line to shoot a one in bonus. A big foul here, this part of the ball game, that does two things. That puts Nieberge out of the ball game with five fouls. That gives Andrew a chance at the line with a one in bonus, and he can bring it within four again with 4.52 on the clock. Nieberge with a good ball game, fouled out with 13 points, one for two from the line, the rest all two pointers. Doug Propes will be the one to come in the ball game for the shoes, number 25. Andrew Bryant standing there with 14 points so far. Won't fall. Shoes got the rebound. Gaddis handles the ball, goes down the corner. Back around Herbach. Custer with it, look out. Force that up a little bit. They drew the foul on Bryant, which will be his fourth. Be out of bounds yet. That was the 16 foul, so they'll be in bonus after this. I was going to shoot two, he says. Okay. I guess I wasn't looking. Ron, you want to run that back and let me look at that again? A mistake is a mistake. Due to the biggest change in the IRS code since 1986, this year it's more important than ever that you see Kemper CPA Group for your year-round tax planning strategies. To be sure you're covered, for the new tax law changes, see the Kemper CPA group for all your tax preparation. Yeah, well, it's 60-52. We're back to an eight-point deficit in the ball game. Maroon's down. Still time, four and a half minutes. Turnover, though. That kills your chances real quick. Probst with the ball out front to Herbach. Custer in the Medi, wide open. Doesn't want to shoot, gives it back outside. Custer, kind of a wild shot. Hartrick's nailed. Loose ball, give it to the Maroons. Andrew Bryant comes back in the game. Um, for Correll. Looks for help. Brandon Hardeman's going to go down and play at the guard position. Closely guarded. They're going to need some help here to bring it in. Gives it to Brandon. Back to Andrew Bryant. Andrew will bring it across. 3.55 on the clock. Nice, nice pass. Nice. Hardeman couldn't Good convert. We got four bodies on the floor, and the rebound goes out of bounds and give it to the shoes. Nice play, good idea. Still an eight point spread, 60 52 in favor of the shoes. For the best deal in tire, tire, stop in a marathon tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated, 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. Want to promote the dance at the VFW next uh, Saturday the 13th here in a minute. Give you a preview of the commercial. How's that? The Wildwoods are going to play. 
VFW on December 13th. Herbach with the ball. Back out to Probst. Custer. Corral guards him. Gives it back to Herbach. Shoes will kill some time. Gaddis won't go. Rebound. The foul is going to be called on Meddy. Probably Parker will be at the line. Three ten on the clock. It's still 60-52. Been there for a while. West Parker will be at the line with a one and bonus. 17 points for West and I two for two from the line and a three pointer. Won't go. Rebound pulled down by the shoes. Herboth with it takes it across the line. Custer will handle it, gets it across to Probst. Custer guarded by a corral. 15 footer, won't go. Rebound, Hartrick, good job, gets it out to Michael Corral. Down to Hardiman, inside the lane. Short jumper, good. Dustin Hardiman with the bucket. 60 54, 234 to go in the game. Hardiman in double figures with 10. Gaddis with the ball. Plays catch with Meddy back out front to Herbach. Meddy, Parker edges out on him. Gaddis with it. They this play keep away now. We're down close to two minutes to go in the ball game. 60-54 shoes. Maroons that may have to foul. They did. One and bonus. Did I mention the dance at the VFW? Yes. December 13th. The FW Post 4549 is holding a dance. It's open to the public from 8.30 to 11.30. Music will be by the Wildwoods. That's Saturday, December 13th at the VFW in Robinson. The VFW, they'll do anything for their country. And be prepared for fall cleanup with echo string trimmers and echo leaf blowers, steel chainsaws from Real King Supply. See Rural King Supply for all your fall cleanup needs on Route 33 east of Robinson. Rural King, a good sponsor of ours for a long time. Probe shots good. Big bucket for them. 61-54. Seven point spread. Less than two minutes to go in the game. Pretty tough. Here's a young man who uh, hasn't scored tonight. I don't think he's taking a shot call right now, to be honest with you. Got them both. They got them both. Probes, the six foot junior, came through. Brandon Hardeman, the freshman, comes through with three. 62 57. We're at 146 to go. Timeout call by the Maroons. That's a full one. And a five point spread here. Still time, plenty of time. That's the first full time out from Robinson's taken, and they've still got a 20, so they've got a lot of them left. Silk and satin bridal shop was open six days a week, 11 to 5 during the week, and 10 to 2 Saturdays, located in North Jackson. After our appointments are available, that's the Silk and Satin Bridal Shop in Robinson. And Hershey Chocolate in Robinson's proud to be a part of Crawford County, and they're pleased to support the students of the community and their youth activities. That's Hershey Chocolate in Robinson. And the Big Five Body Works is a complete collision repair facility. Big Five Body Works now at a new location with new high-tech equipment for insurance work and custom work. It's Big Five Body Works now located a block south of the Gordon Junction, right across from Jim Bradbury Trailer Sales. Look at the schedule coming up here. We're going to be over in Oblong on, or no, we're not. We're going to be in Newton Friday night with Palestine Newton ball game. That'll be shown Saturday night, and then we'll be back uh, in Robinson next Tuesday with a St. Anthony game, and that ought to be a dandy, too. St. Anthony, always a tough ball club. I saw St. Anthony over the holidays in the floor tournament. 
They were without their leading scorer, but uh, he will be back for the Robinson game. Metty draws a foul from Wes Parker. They only lost five seconds on the clock. Has Metty been to the line tonight? One time. He made it. That was the eighth team foul, so he's still two away from, from a double bonus. Oh, I'm blinking out there. Probably for a traffic control oh. after him. Betty gets his first one. Betty with a good ball game, eight points and a bunch of rebounds. Yeah. Missed that shot. Destin Hardiman with a rebound. Andrew Bryant will bring it down. 138 on the clock. Michael Corral with it in the wing. Good pass to Destin. Tries to draw the foul. Doesn't get it, but he sinks the bucket. And we got a quick timeout call by the Maroons. A minute and a half to go. It's a four-point ball game. 62, 63, 59. Shoes out in front. And they'll have possession when we come back on this. This basketball season here in 97, 98 season coming up, we've scheduled games that will include all the Crawford County ball clubs. As I said, Friday night we'll find us over in Newton with the Palestine Pioneers. We'll be back in Robinson on Tuesday night tonight with St. Anthony and Robinson. We'll pick up uh, Robinson at Paris on the following Friday night on the 12th. That'll be an Apollo Conference ball game, and we'll be back on Tuesday, December the 16th, with Palestine and Oblong over at Oblong. That's always a good ball game. This Palestine Newton game might be interesting. Uh, Palestine had a good tournament down at Grayville. They wound up finishing third, uh, uh, basically on a point total situation. I think there's a tied for the record with three wins, yeah. two losses. Three teams tied. Then. Right, with Hudsonville and uh, Thompsonville. Thompsonville, I believe it was. And uh, Newton, on the other hand, had a real disappointing tournament down at the Capital Classic in uh, Lawrence County. So you know, anything can happen. Yeah, it's, like I said, it ought to be a fun year in basketball. All the area teams are better than they were. P-Town brings it in. Good pressure. Good defense by the Maroons on that. Keep counting, boys. The shoes get it across the line. Probst has it, and he's fouled by Michael Corral. His fourth and the ninth. So Probst will go to the line to shoot a one-and-one. One. Four-point ball game with a minute 18 to go. 63-59. Bryant comes in. Jason Young goes out for the Maroons. Missed the shot. Hardiman with a rebound, gets it out to Bryant. Maroon's down in a hurry. Hardiman, Brandon, that is. Wes Parker for three. Good shot, got it. One point ball game, 63-62. We've got a minute to play. The Shoes try to take some time off the clock as they play catch with it out front. Herboff has it. There's Custer, guarded by Correll. We've got a foul call with 36 seconds on the clock. Who got it? Correll or Bryant? Bryant, I believe. Correll didn't, anyway. Um, uh, it kind of looks like that's who they're giving it well, to. Well, they haven't put it up yet. So he's already had four. Must have been Brian. That sizzle is for a piece. I don't know. Nothing's happened yet. This is Probst but, again but, at the line. But he's got is, that one. This is a two-shotter, though, because it's a uh, pinpoint. Two-point game now, 64-62. Doug Probst. Got them both. Pressure shooting. Three-point game, 
We've got a half a minute to go. A foul call away from the ball. Yes. And Michael Correll will go to the line. Correll's one for one tonight from the line. Might have been a good foul for Teotopas. Robinson can only come within one if they uh, allowed him to run their offense. They might have tied it with a three. Michael makes the first one. Rolls in. One point ball game, 65 64, 27 seconds on the clock. Good pressure by the Maroons defense. Foul called against Michael Corral. That's not what Everett wanted. No, he wanted a turnover. He thought uh, he wasn't back there, over there in the corner. It was it Custer who thought he double dribbled the yeah. ball? Anyway, that's Corral's fifth. Jason Young will come in the ball game to take his place. We've got 21 seconds on the clock. It's a one point game. 65 64 in favor of the shoes. That's Mitch Custer at the line. Mitch has had a big night tonight. He's, he's a sophomore. He's seven for seven from the line so far. He's been a big factor in this shoe offense and defense tonight. He yeah. missed that. We talked him out of that one. So we could be no worse than a two point game here with 21 seconds to go. He'd be better off if he made it. Robinson will get the ball out of bounds. They do. Clock hadn't started yet. Now it does. Two point spread. Maroons with the ball. 66 64. T Town on top. Hardiman oh, has it stolen. Custer won't go. Rebound put back by Probst. Get in, and that ought to do it. Doug Probst. It counts. But it's only three. Who shot it? I don't know. Um, Young? I think he was the only one there. I'm going to give it to him. Who got the shot? Well, it's a 68-67 final anyway. Try to figure out who made it. I saw it go through, but I didn't see who threw it. Well, we're trying to figure out for sure who made that last shot. We had people standing in front of us, and we couldn't see. Anyway, it was from behind the 10-second line. It only counts three, though, and they needed four. That one surely ought to have been good for five. You'd have thought in a win. Anyway, at least four for a tie. We think it was Jason Young that threw it up there. He's the last one I saw that had the ball. But the final score will be, uh, what was it, 68-67, a one-point win for the Shoes in a heck of a ball game over here at Teotopolis. Well, this is one way to always start the season is uh, to play a game with Teotopolis, either here or Robinson, because you know one thing about it. 
you're going to find out if you're in shape or not because they go up and down the floor. There's, there's 32 minutes of basketball. Absolutely. And, and this one wasn't over until the last tick. <laughs> so the totals uh, leading score for Robinson with 20 points. Wes Parker, 14 points for Andrew Bryant. Three points for Chris Hartrick. Uh, Dustin Hardeman with 10. Seven points for uh, Brandon Hardeman. Five for Jason Young, we think. We think we gave him credit for that last three. Eight Good points enough. for Mike Burrell. Uh, ten for 13 from the line. Five three-point batters. Yeah, five three-point baskets. Two of those by Wes Parker, one by Hardeman, Brandon Hardeman, one by Young, and one by Correll. Sixteen team fouls called. I had them with 24 rebounds against and 23 turnovers. Teotopos I had with 30 rebounds and only 10 turnovers. Leading scorer for Teotopolis and for the game was Mitch Custer with 28. Eight for nine from the line. He had a real fine ball game. Ten points for, or 13 points for John Eberge before he fouled out. One for two from the line. Derek Gaddis uh, with four. Uh, 0 for three from the line. Johnny King with two points off the bench. Doug Propes with six points off of the bench. All in the fourth quarter. Four for five from the line. That's a lot of pressure was on him at that time. Jason uh, Herboff with seven and eight points for Steve Meddy. 15 for 22 from the line. No three-point baskets for Teotopoulos. That's kind of unusual. 18 team fouls called, and now he gave you the turnovers and rebounds. So it's 68-67. Teotopoulos is now 2-0. Robinson goes to 1-1. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe a couple of three-pointers is all that was even attempted by the um, wooden shoes. A couple from over in the corner maybe, but uh, for, the, for the most part, as we said <clears> at <throat> halftime, they were able to go inside quite a bit, and uh, that generally was their ball game. Um, the turnovers, of course, the big factor with the Maroons here tonight. Uh, a bunch of them, they, that's something that they did not do that much with the Marshall ball game. But I think uh, the Maroons played hard all the way through. Again, they hustled both on offense and defense. Um, and all in all, played a pretty good ball game. And when you look at the uh, one-point loss and you look at uh, the type of game that it was, when you go up and down the floor and you're playing under pressure like that all the time, there's bound to be a lot of turnovers yeah. caused by both both teams. Tonight's ball game has been brought to you by the Robinson. Go ahead. I didn't know you had that. <laughs> First Robinson <laughs> Savings Bank, Silk and Satin, Cellular One and Robinson, Rural King Supply, Graves Auto Group, Crawford Memorial Hospital, American Legion, Big Buck Building Center, Hershey Chocolate and Robinson, Marathon Tire, the Kemper CPA Group, Big Five Body Works, VFW Post 45, 49 and Robinson, and Worldwide Sound and Video Productions. So Friday night, we'll find us in Newton with Palestine and Newton and the Newton Eagles. Next week, we'll be back home in Robinson with the uh, St. Anthony Ball Club from uh, Effingham and an Apollo Conference ball game at Robinson. That's Tuesday the 9th. So until, nope. That's not conference. It won't be a conference game. Doesn't make any difference. It's still St. Anthony. Okay. Come out anyway and see it. Um, that's Tuesday in Robinson. And Friday night we'll be in Newton with Palestine. So until Friday night, this is Jim Kincaid for Dwayne Shaw, Ron Wheeler. It's been a pleasure over here. Good ball game.